All right, man. So today we're talking about skin dyes. This is my second time recording this because I forgot to turn on my mic the first time. So let's go ahead and get to this, man. Take two. So what is dyeing? Dyeing allows you to change the colors on a skin, and dyeing also has a chance to give you one to two character-specific affix. So you can either draw once, five times, or ten. Those are the three options, and drawing once will cost you one skin dye or five rubies. Drawing five at once will cost the same amount as drawing five times individually, which is five skin dyes or 25 rubies. And drawing 10 at once will give a discount. Instead of costing 10 dyes, it will only cost nine. And instead of costing 50 rubies, it will cost 45. And when you draw multiple dyes at once, dyes with an affix will have a gold border and dyes with an R will have both a gold star and a gold border. So gold border dyes will give you one affix and aura dies will give you two. And after you draw an aura die, every draw following it will have two affix, whether or not it's an aura die. So if that was a thing we had to take into consideration in the past. It was like, do we want to re-die and uh, switch from having two affix, like having a lower level of the one we want, as well as a second one, or try to re-roll and try to get um, a higher level of the one that we actually want and sacrifice having a second affix. That is no longer a thing. You don't have to worry about downgrading to just a single affix anymore after you re-roll an R die and it is beautiful man so let's talk about primary and secondary colors the primary color is the color to the left and the secondary color is the color to the right at the bottom of the screen you can choose to lock the main color which guarantees your next draw will retain the primary color but the secondary color will change this also comes with an increased cost so cost for one draw will increase from one die to three dies or from five rubies to 15 rubies cost for five draws will increase from five dies to 15 or 25 rubies to 75 rubies and the cost for 10 draws will increase from 9 dies to 27 dies or 45 rubies to 135 rubies that is a huge increase so make sure that's something you actually want to do before you decide to make the commitment so moving on to affix as previously mentioned drawing a die has a chance to give an affix there's a 25 percent chance to draw an affix and there are three levels to every one so proficient the blue rarity is the lowest level exquisite which is purple rarity is the second highest level and wonderful which is orange rarity is the highest level and these affix once again are character specific and they upgrade your abilities they upgrade staples as well like i know fadeaway 3 has an affix i know that um follow-up shot has an affix i'm not sure oh yeah pg do have one they have dive that has an affix and um centers and power forwards you know they both get the follow-up shot and flash shot also has an affix i haven't seen a fadeaway mid shot one yet so i'm not sure if that's a thing it's probably like just one of them for each position so moving on to our dies our dies can be identified by their glow there's a one percent chance to draw one and when you draw a new die after drawing an R die you can choose to lock the effect but this comes with a substantial price increase and disables draw five and draw ten so you have no choice but to draw once at a time but with this price you're probably going to only be able to afford to draw ones <laughs> so drawing once will increase from one die to 30 so like i said quite the big commitment make sure it's something you actually want to do because that is no longer a necessity for you to have two affix on your skin so you can choose to lock both the primary color and the effect but the price will increase by even more so drawing will increase from 30 dies to 40 or from 150 rubies to 200 in order for you to lock the main color as well as the effect so let's talk about custom dyes you can use a custom dye to change the colors of your skin to colors of your choice you don't have to rely on rng if you get your hands on a custom dye they're quite expensive though and if you don't already have an aura a custom dye cannot give you one there is no option for a custom dye to give you an aura so if you want to have an aura on your custom dye you want to make sure you have one before you decide to customize it to your liking because if you customize it and then you wish you had an aura you're going to be re-rolling and you're going to end up wasting your investment on the custom die so after a custom die your affix will remain unchanged you don't have to worry about losing your affix from doing a custom die so before you decide to do a custom die because these things are so expensive man you want to make sure you already have your uh, aura if you want one on your custom die make sure you have that already before you custom die you also want to make sure you have both of the affix that you actually want want because if you don't have the ones you actually want you're gonna have to throw away your investment in search of those so all right man we're gonna wrap this video up y'all want to see more of this go ahead and drop a like sub to the channel and i'll catch y'all next one man